starting live video. I think we're here. It Almost. looks like we are. <laughs> oh, there it is. We're okay. live. Yes, oh, we yeah, are. Yes, we are. Hold on. Look at that. There she is. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. God, we sound like a bunch of dinglings. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you muted it. <laughs> I had this problem. No, it didn't. Okay, you muted it. There. Okay. I had this problem with your phone yesterday at Log Cabin, and I couldn't hear the sound, and my phone just did it. Really? Like, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. Did iPhone do an update and take away my listening <laughs> to myself know. privilege? It's very possible. <laughs> Lord only knows. Who did I make mad at Apple? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, good morning. <laughs> We're a little behind here. <laughs> We're a little everything here. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello. But the, the, the telemarketers <laughs> are hello. here. <laughs> are you getting ready for St. Patrick's Day with all that green? Um, No, but I wanted to compare the greens. So, no, I am I am not. But I actually, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it is, it is coming, isn't it? It's coming in a few yes. weeks. I like St. Patty's Day. I'm Irish. You are? I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, so there. I'm also, I'm, not. I'm also German. Me too. And I'm Scottish, I'm and I'm English. Oh, I'm oh. Irish, German, and Russian. I do have a smidge of Russian. Yeah. But more, I'm more German than anything else. I'm half Russian. I'm half German. Maybe that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not share with everybody Barb's new nickname. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Be nice uh, to me. They, these two have been arguing a lot lately. <laughs> They've been very mean to each other. They're like my dogs. I'm going to have to separate them. Oh, jeez. Thanks. Or what I threaten them is I'm going to duct tape them together until they go along. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I saw, I saw a post on Facebook a while ago, and it was these two little children they were probably like four and six and the dad called it their get along shirt and it was a t-shirt that he pulled over both of them so they were stuck together and it was like until you learn to get along with each other and the shirt's a get along shirt okay just to start your day off That's right, right. Yes. get over your dog <laughs> get over yourself yes Lynn wants to let you know your AQS lecture is wonderful she absolutely loved it and thanks for doing it thank you Lynn thank you for watching and um yeah, so that has nothing to do with anybody here, no. except for Lynn, I don't think, but I will be doing another Facebook Live for the AQS group <laughs> later today, but unfortunately, it's a private group, and I'm not allowed to share with you guys, but I share everything with you anyway, <laughs> so trust me, you know more than they'll ever know. Um, so, where should we start? We have so many little... I don't know. Do you want... Okay. Want to start with the cork? Sure. Because I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> so, I'm so excited. all the new court came in, finally. Um, I saw that uh, Judy had posted this morning or last night in the Facebook group that her court club package had taken, you know, a nice little <laughs> nice trip tour. around the world to get to her. <laughs> well, our cork supply had a one week vacation in Memphis, Tennessee. So, I understand. Um, <laughs> due to the snow, the ice, and all of the insane stuff going on down south, the cork was sitting there and sitting there, and sitting there, and then they did not get around to processing it, and it did not come <coughs> in until yesterday <coughs> afternoon. But I got it all cut, so I'm going to talk about that. I have a new cork page, um, but also we did something kind of fun today, um, and I'm excited to see. So there, I'm going to jump all over the place today. Sorry. Good morning. She's talking uh, in circles. I'm talking her. in circles because I have so many <laughs> things to say, and I'm so excited. So <coughs> the new cork came in. We have a new cork page. So there is the existing cork page. And I kind of started to explain this to you guys a couple of weeks ago. Everything on the page that's called just cork by itself. That is stuff that we stock. <coughs> that is stuff that we get in larger quantities of. It's stuff that I will continue to replenish until uh, they discontinue it. That's the stuff that we always have. There is a new page right next to that page that I just uploaded this morning. Some of you already found it. Um, cause you're, I don't know. You must have notifications of what I do. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at you, Sue Smith. Um, so the new, the new second cork page is called small batch cork. So what does that mean? It's going to read you what is on the website just cause it's the easiest way to explain. In addition to the ever growing number of prints and solids, that we stock, we now have added these small batch corks. 
what is small batch cork? It's not limited edition, it's not special order, it's smaller quantity corks in the same high quality that you know. So what I did is I, um, I told you guys I found a cork company, a second one, and they sell smaller quantities. So I wanted to try out a bunch of prints. I think I ordered like 20 prints or so, something like that. And I ordered just a small amount of each of them so we could try them out. Some of them will make their way to the regular cork page. I have already replenished the black polka dots because we all love it. It's on the bag behind me. It's just a great neutral print. Um, so we will be replenishing a lot of them and keeping some of them. So when they move to the regular cork page, it means they're sticking around. For right now, it's just kind of, you know, little bits and pieces to see what you guys think. Because we have a limited quantity of each, I have actually already pre-cut them and listed the sizes available. So if you're on there and you're looking and you're like, oh shoot, I really want a different size than what's you know available. Somebody else has already ordered it and I wanted a different size. Send me an email. If I can cut something down for you or get you the size that you want, I will do so. If I can't, I will let you know. But if there's something you want, just, just ask me. I've told you guys before that sometimes things go out of stock and it's because we're almost out and we're waiting for replenishment. You can always email me. The worst I'm gonna say is no, I can't help you. And if I can, we are happy to accommodate. If you order any new cork, it's not gonna be shipped until Monday because it's here, it's cut, but it's not labeled and tagged. And Barb and Marlene had a ton, a ton of orders uh -huh. that they're already shipping. So with that being said, before we get into um, some fun stuff and show you some of the things, we have a giveaway, which I've never done on here before. Yay! We did it. <laughs> Barb, Marlene, and I each picked secretly our favorite of the new batches, and I have no idea what anybody picks, so we can, we can show you what is our favorite. And just a side note, I did not color match any of them. It's all, well, it's almost all prints. I didn't color match them because if we decide not to keep them, why bother doing all that? But if you're looking at one and you're like, I wanna make a bag, what goes with this print? Again, email me and I will tell you what matches that. But I didn't do that yet. So, um, before we do the giveaway, should we tell them, should we tell them about the deal this weekend? Yes. And then we'll show them? Okay, Marlene says I yes. I think so. So, I've also never done this before because I love you guys. <laughs> Just for you, just for you on Facebook and yes on YouTube because I'm going to upload this video today instead of Monday, just for you guys through Sunday, through the, uh, today through Sunday, you can save 10% off any purchase. And the new cork, old cork, <laughs> whatever you want. Well, so I guess we'll sell our cheap. <laughs> okay. 10 I'm cheap. off. 10% I'm, off. I'm cheap and I am not easy to deal with. So you might yes. be getting yourself in for a lot. So... If you want to place an order, you're going to use coupon code CORK10. And I'm saying that to just you guys. I will not be publishing it on the website. I will not be announcing it on the Instagram page or putting it on Facebook. It's your reward and your bonus for watching this video. So if you're watching this in the future, it is for February 26th through the 28th, 2021 only. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, CORK10, and you'll save 10%. Please do not use it on Court Club. If you're thinking of joining Court Club, please do not. That's already discounted. And unfortunately, it's hard for me to just pull that one item. If you do, I'm going to have to refund you. I don't want to be mean. So please don't do that. So <laughs> there is that. So I'm going to pull my favorite out. So this is the one. And I, I mean, I, seriously, I like them all. What do you want to guess? Yes. Okay, I guess. Think it's cactus. I think it's the cactus one. You think it's the cactus? Cactus is pretty awesome. But eh, you're wrong. Uh oh, the chevron. Oh, the oh, chevron. I love yeah. this one. I love them all. This was not easy, but I would say at this moment today at eleven o'clock on Friday, this is my favorite. It's just I don't know. A few hours. It goes with purple. It goes <laughs> with aqua. It goes with the new pearl gold. That's it, true. Yellow, whatever it's called. I don't know. Probably it, goes with the. Salmon, it goes with maybe pinks too? and salmons. Mm -hmm. There's not much it doesn't go with except green. Really. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. I love this. So this is my favorite. So Marlene, what'd you pick? I was, oh wait, are we gonna guess? You can guess. Um, uh, I think it's I think it's the white flowers. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what the other one was. Might be. All right, show us. What's your What's your favorite? Oh, yeah! <laughs> 
one. This is Marlene's favorite, and this is pretty awesome, too. I almost picked this, but I thought Marlene would pick it, so I didn't. Mm -hmm. But this one has greens and purples, yellows, blues. I mean, it has so many colors. No, I do not know what any of the names are off the top of my head. It's all on the website. Because <laughs> I had to name 20 some odd corks like that. Yep. We all know how that goes. There's nothing called yeah. Plam, but there were some hard ones. Mm -hmm. All right, Barb. Now, we kind of bullied Barb, and we told her that she couldn't pick the one she really liked. <laughs> Yeah, because she's me, been telling us for weeks now that it's They're her so favorite. Neat. Well, I was the one that found that yeah, one. She is the one that found did it. Find, did you pick the polka dots? What'd you pick? Well, I, I picked it, it anyway. That, that's what everybody wants. <laughs> this is Barb's favorite, and we all know that. This, I don't see why it wouldn't be. This will be an in stock. This will be added to the website at some point. I love that one. This one, again, these all have so many colors, uh -huh. but it depends on your style. Barb, I know, is going to put a blue with this. <laughs> Marlene could put a purple with this. Yep. You can mix and match them, and they would look totally different. So those are just ours at the moment. Yeah, favorites. that's this week. <laughs> but, you know, by next week, they could change. So those are all on the Small Batch Corks page. Don't run over there right now. I have so many more things to show you. But if you want to use coupon code CORK, C-O-R-K-10, so you can save again? Cork, C-O-R-K, -R 10, <laughs> to save 10% through Sunday. Okay, so okay. <laughs> let me also, we have a giveaway. I'm going to make you wait for that for a minute because I want to show you the new green in person. It's a new old green. We had this a long, long time ago. They just continued it. The new vendor has it, and I jumped all over it. I know that not everybody is a green fan, but I think this is one of those neutral greens that goes with so much that even if green's not your favorite favorite color i think you would like it so this is the spearmint okay i just there's something about it it's got a little bit of a gray to it a little bit of a blue to it it's not super bright it's not dull so i wanted to just show you in comparison to some of the others this is the emerald and that's the lime just so you can kind of see the tone that it has this is the forest just so you can see those together. And then olive, obviously, it's very, very different from olive. Olive is much more in the yellow. Spearmint is an in stock. It's on the regular cork page because we got a ton of it and I have to cut it. So we will be carrying that one for sure. So uh, I told you I cut all the cork and I have right here a bag. Yes, you can have the tote bag too. I have a bag of all of the scraps. These are all the new prints. There's, I don't know how many. I think there was 20, maybe 22, I don't know. There's a ton of them in here. This whole thing can be yours for the <laughs> low, low price of nothing. Um, if you are interested and you would like that, leave a comment. That's all you have to do. You can leave an emoji. You can leave a, yay, it's pretty. You can say anything you want. Be nice. But just leave a comment on this video by midnight tonight tomorrow morning whenever i wake up i'm going to do a random number generator that is a real thing in case you didn't know and i will pick a number and you will you will win it and i will ship it out to you next week so all you have to do is leave a comment it's that simple how's that that sounds pretty good, good. Yeah. that was a whole lot of stuff in like 14 minutes so you talk fast i, I do talk fast <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but look at all the things i already got well that's the way we get everything jam-packed in there because i am a new yorker <laughs> exactly <laughs> i talk a lot my goodness these people comment fast so. that, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to comment that fast you no have worry, until we're not going away. you're good i promise Okay, so... Oh, my God, scrap bag, scrap bag. Scrap bag. <laughs> so I promise <laughs> you're okay. Um, we have lots of little things, and then we have some miscellaneous tips is kind of the theme of the day. So um, where do I even want to start? Okay, how did I do that? There are just so many things. Oh, um, oh, I oh. just wanted to tell you guys, again, I'm so excited. And if you're on YouTube watching this, thank you. Uh, we have over 2,600 subscribers i'm very very awesome. excited about that you gotta start somewhere and we're starting and it's it's awesome um i've also reached the point in youtube where random men leave weird comments on my videos <laughs> and i have to delete them um thank you for telling me i'm pretty but stop it it's weird um that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about bags you are welcome to leave bag comments i'm married leave it alone it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like these weird trolls. And I thought I had to at least hit like 10,000 before the weirdos yeah. would show up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Um, so anyway, 
enough of that. Um, okay. I have teased you guys for the last couple of weeks, little, little sprinkles of um, a new product we might be getting in. I just wanted to let you know we have officially placed our first order for wax canvas. Ten colors of wax canvas. They didn't even know that. This is a surprise. Wow. <laughs> Please don't oh, boy. I'm, I'm, so so I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're right gonna now? have to clean off some of those shelves and get rid of stuff. I said no. That's about right. We're gonna that. You see where how this gonna, goes? Where are we gonna put it? Because we're going to have to have more sales. Why stuff. must you continue with the, the question asking? That part's <laughs> over for the morning. Okay. Wax canvas. You know, it's on order. You know, get it out of here. Get, get it out of here. here. <laughs> they're trying Make to sell. They're, they sell everything. Oh, they're they're like, with the note. do you need this purse? Like, here. <laughs> do you need your shoes? Sell them. Like, Can I have that magazine? How about that? She takes my magazine. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so it's on order. Um, it's probably not going to get here until April, which... For a second, sounded so far away, and yes, then I realized March first is Monday. April's not that far away. Yes, I said it. It's I can't even. <laughs> I don't even understand how this happened. But seriously, March first is Monday. Like whatever. Yeah. Your birthday's in March. Yes, it is. Oh, and my mom's birthday is Sunday. Happy birthday, mom. Um, the twenty eighth. <laughs> Charlie says he has some wax canvas, but he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, I am doing so much research for you, Charlie. That's why I can't go over certain things. My husband. I said to him this week. I said I don't know what I'm talking about on Friday, and he goes. Why don't you talk about wax canvas? And I was like, shh, shh, we're not ready yet. We, I have to do the research. That's why I need you to go away on the weekend and let me have my sewing time. I have been making samples and playing with things and finding out what you can do and what you can't do. And I'm going to have a whole day of wax canvas for you guys. Just not yet. It will be soon. So cross your fingers. No more crazy weather, and maybe, maybe shipping magically gets better and the wax <laughs> canvas gets here sooner. Um, it's coming from India, I was told, which is cool. We don't have anything from mm, India yet. There you go. Um, so, yeah, another so. We'll have to take another mm -hmm. trip. We're we'll adding Portugal, to Portugal to India. <laughs> yeah. So, what, when are we going on this excursion? Mm. That would be up to um, 2021, you know, 2020, okay. the sequel. As soon as this is over, yeah, I'm we're allowed to fully, leave. I'm almost fully vaccinated, so I can go. I don't even have a passport, so <laughs> whatever. I had one. Um, <laughs> whatever. So, wax canvas will be here, and there will be a whole talk on that, but not today. Because <laughs> that's how we roll around here. Um, Do we have to go through training? We have to <laughs> We're going to have a very intense training. Um, yes. New canvas is supposed to be headed this way today. Like, it's on the FedEx truck right now. It would be so, it would be so magical if he walked right in now. during this. Yeah. And like, look, I got my box cutter ready. Where is it? I'm just Charlie, Charlie says it's so hot in India right now that it's re be regular canvas by the time it gets here. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, if you ever leave this page and our group, I will just die. Yeah. I will end the videos. Uh -huh. I love you. Um, <laughs> so, okay. So Wait I, a minute. How does he know that off the top of his head? Because oh, Charlie he's knows smart. everything. He's smart. That's what I'm he's telling you. It. He's from Charlie? Connecticut, so of course he's smart. Says well, Barb, who's also from Connecticut. <laughs> You're right, Charlie? We are all good. smart because we're from Connecticut. Yeah. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Um, okay, <laughs> my goodness. All right, so <laughs> this is my, my miscellaneous tips. Before we get into that, just a couple of other little quick things, and then we are going to talk about whatever. Um, and I wrote down notes that I don't understand. Hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he actually works with guys from India. Oh. And they laugh at our snow stories, so. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I mean, y you have to laugh at them because otherwise it would just, you would lose your mind. Oh, speaking of, does everybody have power again? Are we all good? I know I've already talked to Shelly this week, who's in Austin. I hope you guys all have power. I hope you are watching this now with power, not like three weeks from now. I hope you guys <laughs> all are good. I feel so bad for everybody. Yeah. Shelly told me in our class on Tuesday that people in Texas still didn't have power like eight days later. And I'm like, I was complaining in October when a transformer went and we lost power for two days. I was like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Eight days. Yeah, really. Eight days when you're not prepared for that. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys are all good. Um, I, now I know what this note means. <laughs> I, I should be more clear with myself. I was writing down, and I don't know why I wrote this down, how many videos we've done. Um, this is our 42nd video. Oh, my God. And it's our eighth for the year. We're almost into the third month of 2021. My God, it's crazy. Um, so anyway, 
I talked to somebody from AQS yesterday, and she said they are planning and hoping and praying that we might have shows next year. Yeah, they already have awesome. them planned. Yeah. So <clears throat> remember we said this like a long time ago about having a meetup in Branson? Yeah. If Branson happens next year, we all have to meet up in Branson. Let's go to it's Branson. central. Let's go to Branson. Maybe we're all there. going. We're shutting it down. We're going to Branson. And speaking of old videos, um, <laughs> I was helping somebody who had emailed me the other day, and she asked if I had a video on something. And I was like, I know it's in a video. Let me find it for you. And I looked at our old videos. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I, um, I'm really, really sorry about the Internet because I did not know how bad it was. <laughs> It's horrible. I, we still have some internet issues, but like it's gotten better yeah. with we've upgraded stuff. I don't know why you guys stuck around for the entire like whole time we were over in that office. The video was terrible, Marlene. It was awful. It was awful. It was so blurry. It was terrible. So wow. I don't know. You guys must really like us, or you have nothing <laughs> else to do. I don't know. I hope it's because you really like us. Um, okay, so. I just want to say, and this has nothing to do with anything except I just want, to, just want to say it as a reminder to everybody. I said this to the girls this morning. Just always keep in mind before you click that post or send that text or write an email or say something that is unkind, you never know what somebody is dealing with behind the scenes. There was a, we had a conversation about somebody that we all know this morning and just just remember that. That's all I'm going to say. It's not my, my place to talk any more about it, but just remember somebody could be having the absolute worst day of their life and your nice words could make their day and your mean words could absolutely ruin them. So that's all. I just wanted to say that because it's the truth. So I was in the group. I'm always in the group. Barb and I are both admins. We monitor everything because we make sure that everybody's nice in there and that everything is following our guidelines. And I saw somebody had posted, and of course I forgot everything at this point, who posted it, but somebody had posted a bag that they made. I think it was Linda. And it looked very similar to a bag that somebody else had made before. And I just loved how you guys inspire each other. I just thought it was so cool because I looked and I was like, that's really pretty and it looks kind of familiar and the person who made it said the same thing and she was like oh I was inspired by you and that is exactly mm -hmm. why we have the group and that is exactly <clears throat> why we keep the group the way that we do so again if you are not in the group school over there like seriously join us it is so inspiring and so nice and all the ladies from class on Tuesday posted their bags we had an amazing time. It was such a good day. It, everybody got their bag done and they were having a great time and lots of good tips. And I always ask at the end, did you enjoy it? Is there anything you want me to do differently? Is there something you want me to add? And I had done something um, that I didn't intend on doing in that way with my note cards. Barb knows I have mm -hmm. note cards for mm -hmm. each of the steps. And I was leaving them on screen and they commented about how they like that because then you can glance mm -hmm. at that screen and look. So you guys inspire and help me as much as I hope everybody else inspires you. You know, So you guys, I do take everything that you say to heart. I read all your comments and I really enjoy that. And one of the ladies had said that even if you can make the project, joining the class it's a it's a morale boost like it just it helps because we have all been so alone for it's been a year now yeah. it's been a year mm -hmm. that we started our 14-day quarantine mm -hmm. um almost i was just i was in florida right now i think we were we were on our way yeah, home or almost i think i got home like march 2nd yeah. and then i haven't left since then so yeah. it's been almost a solid year and i know that sometimes you know i might have a class up there and you're like ah i could do that on my own but if you're looking for some companionship and just to spend a day where you don't have to answer the phone and do the dishes and do all the stuff, join the class. It was so much fun. And I know that those ladies could totally make that bag on their own, but they all got some great tips. And it was just, you know, hanging out. And Diane said after our first class, it was like having friends over for mm -hmm. coffee, just sitting there and being able to see people's faces mm -hmm. without masks on and to like have a conversation and just, you know. So even if you're looking and you're like, I don't need that class. But it would be kind of nice. Some of you I know are much more alone. I only have my husband. You guys, you know, there's just a few. Uh oh, so, it. oh, it's not it. Oh, it's not it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we just got a package, but it wasn't what we were. It's not. It's not what we're looking for. <laughs> I'm sorry to the Amazon. Oh my God, Mr. Amazon. But <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry. He's like, what? It's probably for Eric. Um. So anyway, <laughs> so if you are just looking to have, you know, someone to hang out with. 
and you want to hang out with us, we're pretty fun. And I do a lot of prep work, so I make sure the classes she definitely go. Definitely does. I'll I, vouch for that. I, Barb knows. I I did I took the first class, and I, it was awesome. Yes, and it was and it's fun. And we're keeping the classes kind of small, which is fine mm -hmm. with me because it it doesn't matter to me. If I'm going to a quilt shop or a guild, it matters because somebody else is paying for me to be there. This is my time. I can mm -hmm. teach one of you. I can teach six of you. But when there is a small class, which I think we had four the first time, we had three mm -hmm. this time. I love it because you guys get so much more attention. Um, I did finally get the graduation date from my sister. Um, she says she didn't have it. I think she just didn't want to tell me. <laughs> so I am going to upload some more classes hopefully this weekend, get May settled, move into June. Again, if you're looking for something, let me know. If you want something or you want something on a certain day, let me know because I can't fill them if I'm putting the stuff up there that you don't want. So just let me know what you're looking for. Um, other than that... I think we're just going to get into some random tips, but Barb has a question. I see her tapping. Did oh, you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just tapping. <laughs> I thought you were getting my attention tapping. I do have one question for you, though. Yeah. Did I see that you are doing like an open sew type thing once in a while? Yes, we have an open sew scheduled um, the fourth Saturday of the month, something like that, the, towards the end of each month on a Saturday. And that is just in case you have some questions, in case it's something that is not a class that's set up, if you, you know, have some, you know, you just want a little bit of assistance, you do not have to be coming from a class. You have one of my patterns, quilt pattern, bag pattern, whatever it is, one of the tutorials from YouTube, and you just need to check in and get some help, you can sign up for the open So You don't have to stay the whole time. If you just need an, uh, an hour or two hours, you can stay. It is going to be the same price regardless of how long you stay because I, I am scheduling my time for that. But it's one of those things where you're like, oh, I want to make this bag, but I didn't see any classes for it. And I can get to a certain point before I need some assistance. You know, sign on and, uh, you know, just sign up for that. So we have those once a month. I, yeah, I don't think, yeah, just once a month. <laughs> Processing. The, my, my computer is slow. <laughs> <laughs> she got a new one. I, got, I did not upgrade my brain yet. <laughs> no, to match the computer. <laughs> so, I was thinking today, because I have so many things that I'm prepping for future talks that I need to get ready for you. I have product talks. I've been buying a lot of stuff. Things that normally I would feel bad about buying because... If I don't sell it and I'm at a show or if I don't sell it and you can't get it wholesale and a shop can't get it and I kind of don't feel bad about that anymore because I just look at all of us as a bunch of bag makers who all have questions and we just want to know stuff and I like buying stuff. I love doing research. So I have been buying all sorts of stuff and trying some different things out and I like to have all the answers for you. So while I'm prepping those things, I'm doing some fill-in kind of, you know, Friday lives and I, it dawned on me earlier this week because somebody had messaged me a, a random question. I have a bunch of little miscellaneous tips that don't really fit into any category. They're not strictly hardware. They're not just zippers. Just little things that I have found myself doing over the years of making bags. Ways to remedy things that aren't working perfectly. And so I thought I would just go over those with you guys today. Last week we talked about the diva frames and how I cut the little notch out. So I won't do that again. Um, you know, trace it and cut it with really good scissors are my best tips on that. And if you guys have any tips, if there's something that you've been doing that you found has been making your life easier, throw them out there. If you're doing something and it's not quite working and you want to know if we have some feedback, ask. If you guys think of anything as we're talking, throw it out there. Um, I even have some cutting tips that don't necessarily have to be bag related. It could be, you know, quilting and other sewing. But let us know. We all love tips. The only thing is do not ask me about organization tips because <laughs> I can't help you with that. Um, the office is more organized because we sell product. My house, there's stuff everywhere. So I do not have any great tips on storage. <laughs> Don't ask me. I will just tell you that. Have Marlene come over and throw stuff out when you're not looking. That's the best tip I can give you on that. She, it she loves she throwing stuff out. Throw she has out. no attachment to your stuff, so she'll throw it out for you. Uh-huh. That's so <laughs> All right, so one of my favorite tips that I find myself doing a ton, and it's just one of those things, it's hard to incorporate into a pattern or to, I don't even have anything to show you, but it, I think I've mentioned this once. When I'm cutting my interfacing, and yes, I'm going to out myself right now. 
I use the grid lines on my mat. And yes, I know that you're not supposed to. I know that. But it's not for quilting. Quilting is different because you really need to be more precise. Bag making, I can't, I don't have a ruler that's going to measure a 20 inch piece of fabric. And I'm lazy. So I do use my cutting mat. <laughs> I told you guys I'm lazy, it's not a lie. So if I'm measuring a piece of fabric, I get my fabric perfectly cut, I put that aside, and when it's time to measure my interfacing, I remove my ruler exactly where it needs to be, and before I cut, I scoot it about an eighth of an inch in, so that my interfacing is about an eighth of an inch, no more than a quarter of an inch short. Why? Two reasons. Interfacing shifts and gets stuck to your iron, and that's not fun. And also, interfacing sometimes on the bolt gets wrinkles, and then when you're laying it out, it gets bigger anyway. So I tend to cut all of my anything fusible, like a hair shorter than it needs to be, because it's going to be in a seam allowance. It doesn't matter anyway, and I have much less chance of my iron getting on that sticky and ruining my iron. So that's just one of those little things that I do. Now, if you are not a great cutter and measurer, that's a hard word. If you're not good at <laughs> <A> measuring, <laughs> if you're not good at measuring, <laughs> and you have any issues with that, or if you're using um, some of the linens and some of the fabrics that have a little bit of stretch to it, you can also cut both pieces a little bigger than you need, get them pressed, let them stretch if they stretch, and then trim it down. A lot of people say that they have issues when they cut things. I need an 8 by 10 piece. By the time I get done ironing it and I put it all together and I trim it up, now it's like 7.5 by 9. Cut it a little bit bigger, fuse your interfacing, trim it down. Waste a little bit of fabric there so that you're not frustrated later. That's something that I will do sometimes if I feel like a fabric has a lot of stretch to it. And Everybody else uses their mat lines too. Well... <laughs> Okay, I'll be, a good, I'll be a good quilter for a minute. Yeah, I'll yeah. be a good teacher. Because somebody will for ask, quilting? why no, aren't you supposed so to? Here's the reason. These, I, are they plastic, whatever yeah. you call them. The self-healing plastic, whatever, whatever, whatever they are. are. These things can get distorted from heat, from cold, from all different other things. Plus, every manufacturer mm -hmm. prints them a little bit differently. An inch is never an inch. Mm -hmm. It's always a little bit off. If you're making a quilt, and let's say that you have eight pieces in that quilt and you sew that or the block and you sew it together and you are off an eighth of an inch you just lost an inch mm -hmm. in seam allowance if you use your mat it tends to get you off kilter if you use your ruler rulers are more accurate because they don't tend to get skewed as much unless you've had that ruler for 20 years and the lines are gone and i have had that happen before or i think you use them over there off or, <laughs> or you chop an edge off <laughs> so for quilting i try not to use the lines but for bag making Mm. You know, best thing I can tell you is if you're making a bag and your bag pieces are like a little bit too small or you had to trim them up and you're like, oh, shoot, well. <laughs> the outside is a half inch shorter in height than the lining. Just trim the lining because bags don't matter as much. You just need the outside and the inside to be the same size. Quilt blocks matter. So I try not to use the lines when I'm cutting for a quilt, but I do all the time on bags. Shoot me. You know what can I say? <laughs> so <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> There's somebody that's going to be upset with me. So there, I said it. I know you're upset. I'm sorry. And there's also somebody oh, that's going to want to know why. You. And it's okay. I use them all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thirsty. <laughs> so Jenny said, Janae, she goes, I had a new mat that was, that was way off. I had to Sharpie on it. Do not measure. <laughs> wow, that had to be a bad one. All of our mats have Sharpie on them because yeah. we write notes on them. We mark things. So yeah. you are not alone in that, Janae. <laughs> Um, let's see. So this came from a question that I got this week. And I know I've said this before, but I want to say it again because sometimes uh, you need to hear it multiple times. So this is a mini diva. This was a mistake. Not, it's not wrong. There's canvas inside and outside. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> this one right here, it's really pretty. It was a Robert Kaufman super duper thick canvas. I don't know what they were thinking. It's so heavy compared to the rifle paper company canvas. And I made an entire wallet out of it. It wasn't fun. This end right here, because with all these card pockets, the end of this mini diva is super thick. This one's not as bad, but the card pocket side gets thick. This can be a bear to get into your frame. And then you think, I just made this entire thing. It doesn't fit in the frame. I've wasted time and fabric. No. I'm going to tell you why. 
you, I, you're probably not going to see it on camera, but there is stitching close to the edge. And when I say close to the edge, I do not mean a quarter of an inch. I mean as close to the edge as you can get. And if you have to, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as many times as you need to, as long as you are not past, you know, the frame, as long as you're, what, this is like a half inch, uh, three eighths of an inch, as long as your stitching is no further, no deeper than the frame, you're not going to see the stitching, stitch it as many times as you need to, to compress the fabric. I've even had people use a hammer on it. If you are if you are feeling that and you need to hit Good something, management. you do what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and these seams right here, these are the worst part. Make sure you trim them down. You can even trim a little out of the corner. And what I do is I get the frame on on one one corner, work it in there however I can. Put that screw in so it doesn't come off and then work it in. Use a screwdriver or a butter knife to slide it in. It will go in if I can do it with, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> layers of canvas and interfacing, you can do it. So it will definitely work whenever you use a heavier fabric or cork, it gets a little cumbersome. Prima Diva, Diva, totally different. They don't have this thickness. So that's one thing I always say, especially like when I'm teaching, stitch as close to the edge and people will go in. I'm like, no, no, as close as you can get it. Nice, ride that edge and just stitch it and it will compress it. So that is something that I do on that wallet all the time. This was something that somebody had brought up a while ago that I kind of forgot about until I was using them. We do have a lot of the hardware mass produced. We order it in the thousands. Sometimes things can mm -hmm. happen where things are a little bit off. Diva screws, for instance, we talk about that a lot. Sometimes even the washers. This, <clears throat> these are washers that are for the icicles, for this hardware right here, okay? These, somebody had gotten one, and we've never seen this before, where one of these was about a half inch longer than the other. We put them in a bag, did not notice, didn't, and it worked, it was fine, but she was like, just so you know, when you look at these together, even if you just flip them over, the holes don't always line up from one to the other. So my tip for you, because it can, there's almost a top and a bottom, I use one washer to do all my markings. I use that same washer on the front and the back. That way I know that it's consistent and that way I know that all of my hardware will be evenly lined up because things will shift. And if I do this and the holes are off a little bit, I don't wanna put holes in a bag and then have it look bad and have a mistake happen. So I use one washer to do all of my markings and I do now check them just to make sure that everything is the same. The holes are not that far off, but some of you, and you know who you are, are really, really super perfectionists, and that millimeter that it's off is gonna drive you crazy. So that's something that I do on the hardware a lot. Um, and speaking of hardware, I'm not going to do it on this one, because I didn't, I don't, I don't wanna um, scratch these, but these are the jewels. And you see that they come with plastic, this plastic on the front, this one usually pulls right off, but this one doesn't always want to come off because it gets stuck in the seam of the little, I don't know, door knobby hanger thing. If you take your seam ripper and you run your seam ripper in that groove on the top and the bottom, then you can pop it right off and you don't have to worry about tiny bits of plastic because if you get a little teeny tiny bit of plastic, it can be such a pain to try to get it out. You can try it with tweezers but I use this and I run it right in that seam real slow on both sides and then the plastic will pop off. I know I mentioned that one a long time ago, but just as a little refresher, the plastic is there for your benefit so it doesn't get scratched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? Ah, this. Okay, swivel hooks, especially the little tiny ones. These, and for some reason, the rainbow. The rainbow is a double process finish. So that means they have to finish it in one color and then they put the rainbow finish on top. When they do that sometimes, this happens and your hook doesn't open. And yeah, I've had that happen before and I'm like, don't tell me they sent me a whole batch of hooks that are defective. They're not. This little thing is stuck to that because of how they hang them when they finish them. You get yourself some pliers and you grab the little center right there and you just push. 
That's it. Just take this and pull it and you're fine. You're not scratching anything. And now it opens without a problem. It happens sometimes and it's especially on the rainbow ones. I've seen it on other colors, but more often than not on this. And somebody had emailed me the other day and said, I finished my bag and now the hook won't open. What do I do? And I was like, I can tell you what to do. And she was fine. Yeah. <laughs> she panicked and then she was okay. So there's that. And these same needle nose pliers are how I make a hole in a diva frame bigger if I need to. Now, somebody yelled at me once via email because um, via her husband, her husband told her to tell me that I was wrong because <laughs> my own husband telling me I'm wrong is not enough. I need other husbands to tell me that I'm wrong. And he said, you can't use needle nose pliers in there. You're going to ruin the threading. The okay. threading. The threading that's in this yeah. minuscule little hole. Little tiny hole. I'm not going to say he's wrong. I'm just going to say he was mean. But here's the thing. Remember I keep telling you guys to glue stuff together? Yeah. Glue it. So if the screw won't go in, the only purpose of the screw to me <laughs> is to fill the hole. I don't care if it's holding it on because I glue everything. If you make that hole big enough and you pop the screw in, add some glue, nobody knows and you're fine. So needle nose pliers are always around just in case I need it. Cause I am not going to throw out a perfectly good frame because one hole does not want the screw to go into it. I see no sense in that. I don't know. You know, they're no. nodding their heads. They agree with me. And most of the time they don't agree with anything I say. <laughs> and I, I need, I need to have a corrections corner cause Marlene was upset with me this morning. <laughs> if you watch the log cabin video <clears> yesterday, <throat> Somebody asked Barb. Barb was our featured speaker. She did an awesome job. So if you are interested and have long arm questions, you should go watch that video. She had a lot of awesome information and I just pummeled her with questions. She answered all of them. So somebody had asked Barb, do you listen to music when you're long arming? And I know we talked about this a long time ago and she said, no, I usually have Netflix on. And I said, I said, Yes, but she doesn't pay attention to it, just like when they're shipping at the shop. I did not say they don't pay attention to orders. <laughs> no. They don't uh -uh. pay attention to what's on Netflix, because I walk in and I'm like, what are you guys watching? I don't know. <laughs> That's always the answer. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> and yes, I know sometimes we make mistakes in the orders. And we I apologize have, if we yes. do. My robots are on the way, and until they get here, I have human beings. I am so sorry, but we do correct them. <laughs> Ding and dong who don't know what's on Netflix. Have no idea. But it's on. <laughs> no. And I was walking to the weirdest thing. Like, what are you watching? I don't know. Sometimes so. I'll come and go, Marlene, what did you put on? I don't know. <laughs> My <laughs> Netflix account is, is hooked up in there. I now use a different <laughs> profile because Netflix recommends the most bizarre stuff based <laughs> on what they watch and what I watch combined. Yeah. They think that I'm just a really weird person. Mm -hmm which I am, but now I'm like, now I'm going to watch it. On now it's <laughs> double weird. Now it's double weird between the two of us. It's weird. <laughs> Things you didn't need to know. You're welcome. Uh, let's see here. So since we were talking about cutting, and again, I don't have a demo piece for you, but something that a lot of people actually here, let me grab this. A lot of people struggle with in sewing, quilting, bag making, everything is cutting a piece of this and getting it straight so that down here it doesn't do this. Take your ruler and ignore this part. Don't worry about this edge. Make sure one of the lines of your rulers is lined up on the fold and then make your cut. Will it make a huge difference in handles? Yeah, you can probably get away with it. Will it make a difference if you're cutting a border for a quilt or you're cutting a long strip of fabric for a bag? Yes. So, and I, I found, a, especially a lot of newbies that aren't as comfortable with rulers and rotary cutters. If you're just assuming the edge of the fabric is straight, it's probably not. Don't assume the salvage is straight. Use your fold with a ruler and make sure that you straighten that out. And then you will not get that weird V thing that happens. It's happened to all of us. Trust me. That was just one of those miscellaneous things. Um, let's see here. This and is the most bizarre. No offense, Linda Broom, but <laughs> I'm reading her comment, and I believe it has to do with pliers. But okay. It says PH Panda Hall Leathercraft Flatten Pliers, Straight Head Leather Edge Adjustment Press Flatten Pliers Clamp Cutting Side Snips 
flush pliers, nipper for a leather belt and bag. It's on Amazon. I'm unable to post a picture. Is that all one thing, Linda? <laughs> Is that like a multi-tool? <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't know. I guess we'll be looking at that one. Yeah. Later. Because if I don't own it, I want it. <laughs> Marlene's going to try to find Marlene's it. Gonna, Marlene's going to find it. Thank you. She saw this on a video, she says. Oh, cool. Well, we like to buy things, so. <laughs> Where is it? Panda Marlene's hall, looking at other. Crack right. flattened fire. <laughs> I'm like, reading this, it's like, really? Hmm. It's kind of like the string quilt yesterday that neither oh, one of us yes. is. No, the little dog. Oh, oh dear. Wait a minute. You would think that people that name their products could maybe make the name a little bit smaller. <laughs> just to make it something but we're gonna look that up and see what that is so thank you linda uh let's see where do we want to go next well since i mentioned salvage here is a little a, a little thing that i do especially with um cork excuse me but excuse me again i also do this with uh fabric mostly when i'm doing handles it's all one thing, she said. I will leave the salvage, whether it's on the cork or on the fabric, and I will leave it on the piece that I'm about to sew. So if I'm top stitching a handle like this, this is just a little demo piece, I will leave the salvages on even if I'm interfacing it because I can start and stop sewing on the salvage part, and then if I get any little ratty threads or any little bird nests, mm -hmm. they're on that part, and I'm going to trim that away later anyway. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Flatten just something. She found it. Cool. Well, I'll take a look at it later. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So I always leave my salvages on. I don't know. Do you guys do that when you're making bags? Like if you're making a handle and you cut that full width, I always yeah, leave I the do. salvage on. I leave it on. I've seen some people will trim it first. I like mm -hmm. it on there because then I have a place to start and stop and I can let all my little threads, you know, kind of do their thing. Another... Um, uh, nope, not that. Another <laughs> <laughs> not that one, guys. <laughs> Speaking of, um, I've had people ask me, and this is more of a sewing machine related question slash tip. I've had people ask me how come they will get those ugly little bird nests on the back of something when they start sewing, where your top thread and your bobbin thread make this ugly little knot on something. Why does that happen a lot? And one thing that I do, especially if I want, if it's like top stitching or somewhere that it's going to show a lot, <coughs> I use a little leader and um, ender piece, mostly a leader. Hitchhiker. Uh, hitchhiker. That's a cute name. And that just needs to be any scrap of anything. I might have a piece of cork, I might have a piece of fabric, I might have a piece of interfacing. I just use that little scrap to take those first couple of stitches. If it's a place that's super important that I don't want to have those weird little spots. That can't always be prevented. If I'm top stitching the top edge of a bag, I can't really start on something else. So what I do, and this is something I did years ago before I had a computerized machine with scissors. Because the scissor function is what's causing the issue. What I do is I pull my bobbin and my top thread just enough and I hold it with my thumb for a couple of stitches and then I start my sewing because then I'm not giving it the opportunity to suck the threads together and make a knot. That's a long arm tip. It's <laughs> we see, do that with long arming. I did not know. <laughs> yeah. Well, she and it's just something that sewing machine. Hold it and the, the person I was having this conversation with a while ago, she was frustrated because as she said, the brand new machine, it's got all the features, it's like top of the line, but it's making these horrible little, you know, nests mm -hmm. of thread. That is the scissor function. It's the scissor function in your machine, and if you talk to any dealer, they will tell you, don't start sewing off the fabric. It gets it all wound up. It doesn't know what it's doing. Be careful when you're starting, because what happens is the scissor function cuts your thread so short that it, they almost aren't there. And that's what makes that little that little clump of thread. So if you're doing something, if you're top stitching a handle and you have salvage, doesn't matter. You're gonna cut it off anyway. Start there, let it do its thing. If you're doing top stitching or something that's gonna show, hold those threads. You don't have to hold them tight, but just put your finger on it for a few, you know, a couple stitches, and then you will be better. I have somebody that has has a question about sure. a tip for the Liana bag. Okay. Um, she goes, "What's a tip for sewing?" the final corners on the Liana bag, the bag was hard to smash down to get it under the sewing machine without the layers moving apart. I'm thinking stapling the edge might help. You could, absolutely. So what, what she is talking about is when you are boxing your corners 
and we talked about this in class on Tuesday too. Typically, in 90% of the bag patterns that are there and that I design, you're gonna box your outside corners and your lining corners separately. They're not, uh, they're not, a, um, they're not done together. The difference is with the Liana bag, which is right here, because of the zipper technique that's used, these, this is what I'm talking about, the corners down here, on a regular bag, this would be separate and the lining piece behind it would be separate. But because of the way that this zipper is done, you have to do it as one. It has to be done together in one piece. What happens is that you have cork, fabric, interfacing, fleece, you have all these different things and it does get extremely cumbersome and hard to put together. So the question is, could you staple it? Absolutely, if you wanna staple it, as long as it's not going to hit your needle and it's outside of that quarter of an inch, by all means do that. I've seen a lot of people staple their bags and then you can take them out later. If you need to and you need, you're having a horrible time and you need to sew them separately, if you need to start them because you're, you're not going to be able to get too far. The corner's not that deep. But if you need to sew a little bit on each side of the outside and a little bit on each side of the lining and then get that middle together to sew over it, you can do that. You can try it. But don't be afraid to squish <laughs> the the life out of that bag. You're not going to hurt it, but it is cumbersome. So I will take it and I will pull it and push it and squish it and do whatever I have to to get it under the foot. And me, the professional, <laughs> whatever you want to call me, the one that wrote it, there are some times when my corners aren't perfect. So I don't stress about how the corners look. I just try to get all the layers. The worst thing that happens, I get my outside, the lining didn't catch. Oh, it's frustrating you can hand stitch it. You can always go back in and hand stitch the lining. The outside is more important to me. If that does not make any sense to you because you haven't done a bag with the corners sewn together, remember this when you're doing one. But it's, you do, you do whatever you need to do to get through the thickness and to make it happen. It's absolutely, there's no wrong answer when it comes to that. But I love the staple idea because I'm in a couple of other bag groups and I've seen people staple, like if they have a curved bag, I've seen them staple around to keep it in place. If that's what helps you and you need to do that, I see no problem with that at all. So I hope that answered your question. And I have two more, three more little tips. So this is something that I never used to do until recently. And I kick myself for not doing it. Probably, I probably didn't do it because it wasn't an issue. When you're working with zippers by the yard, and you have open edges that don't have a stopper on them. Normally what I would do is take a clip, put a clip on. Well, clips can fly off. Or I would weave a pin through the end so I would make sure the zipper had to stop the pull so it wouldn't come off. That also works, but then I stab myself every time. Sew over your zipper ends. I don't know why, but I have just avoided doing it. I don't know if I'm literally I that lazy, but I'm like, I don't need to, it's fine. And then I lost a zipper pull actually on that bag that I just had. I was at the end of the video I was filming and I lost the zipper pull. I, I said some fun words because um, <laughs> it's not always fun when you're in the middle of making something. So just do it. <laughs> just do it. Don't try to use a clip. It takes a few <clears throat> seconds. Don't, don't be lazy like me. It's not worth it. It always ends up going wrong in the end. So I do that all the time now, and I'm telling you to do that because you should listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have two more tips for you. We humor her. And, yeah, you know. <laughs> In regards to handles, one of them is pinning them, and one of them is sewing them. So when you are adding a piece of hardware, you're adding uh, this to a jewel or an icicle, or you're adding a rectangle ring. I don't know about you guys, it happens to me all the time because I don't usually use a walking foot, which is gonna give me even pressure. I fold this over and I get ready to sew and it goes like this. And it's, <laughs> and it's not even that much, but it's enough to drive me crazy. And it just kind of looks off. Well, what I started doing is instead of starting on the end, I start in a little bit and I tack it down towards the middle, back, and then go forward it keeps it from shifting. So I don't sew my hardware on from one end to the other. I start in the middle, stitch a little, back up, and then go forward, and I don't have that issue because that is one of those things that will make me 
insane when I look at my bag and it goes like this. Mm -hmm. That's not professional. I don't like that. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how to not bend your pins. <laughs> and as you <laughs> already know, it always <laughs> goes wrong when I say that it's not going to go wrong. So let's say we're working on a bag like the Taurus tote bag that has handles attached to the front. And if you are taking my class in March, I will go over this tip with you in class, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So you need to pin this to this. So normally you just stick your pin in and then you just start working and doing this and oh, look, I just bent my pin. <laughs> okay. It's such a silly tip, but I do it all the time. I stick the pin in and I don't do this with the pin. I do this with the fabric and then straighten it that. out. It's a miracle. It's magic. Oh my God. And my pen is not bent. So, oh, FedEx is here. Uh oh. Keep your fingers crossed, FedEx everybody. I hope he stops. FedEx is. Oh, he's going outside. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just got really uh -oh. excited. Uh -oh. No, he, he drove not. by. Oh, well, oh, that's he not. stopped. Oh, he stopped again. He stopped. I'm not even looking at him. Um. So anyway. <laughs> You stop. As if we don't have enough stuff here. <laughs> yeah, as it is, whenever anything new comes in, it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys get that excited when something gets delivered at your house? And you I like, do. Oh, even though you ordered it, you know it's coming. Exactly. It's just, and you know so what it is. It's exciting. Like, oh, shoot. And but I ha this is <coughs> what we're waiting for. What was hopefully on the FedEx truck is new canvas, not canvas I've seen before, not replenishment canvas. He might go in the overhead door. It's possible. Marlene's going to go stalk the FedEx guy. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to prolong the stalk. She's very good at stalking with the fabric. Uh -huh. So we might have new fabric on the website today. You never um, know. So <laughs> those were all the random miscellaneous tips. Why is somebody calling me now? They always do this. So those are all of the miscellaneous tips that I find that I use all the time. Do you guys have any, anything that you can think of? Anything that's a really great tip that we all um, need to know about? <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot. Tell um, me now. So, uh, not that I can no? think of. Anybody have any questions? Um, anything that we can, that see? I can see? I guess I can... we're going to have to just call it a day and wait for FedEx. Yeah. It's fine. But great I will tips, let you guys know tips, really, awesome tips. really soon. If there is anything that you guys want to know and you think of later, let me know. And yes, it counts as a comment. I'm going to do the drawing, remember, tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. So as long as you comment on this video on Facebook, I'm really sorry, YouTubers, it's only for Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you comment by midnight tonight, I will include your number. We'll count the comments and pull a number and somebody is going to get a bag of really cool scraps. And don't forget... The Don't forget to use is coupon. Coupon. Cork. Cork. Ten. Ten. Today through Sunday. C O R K. Ten. I feel like I want a podcast. Ten the number ten or ten T E N. <laughs> Only Marlene. C O R K one zero. <laughs> Do not use it on Cork Club. Pretty. No. Pretty Do please. Not. And I don't know if my mom is on today, but my mom's birthday is on Sunday. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Hope! And I sent her a card, and she thought it was really funny, because it said, being a day older does not matter unless you're a banana. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was funny. We are not that family that does sweet, sentimental cards. We only do funny cards. Um, it's just the way that it is, because... I had to come from somewhere. I mean, this this didn't just happen. It's, I was no. bred this way. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> she came from somewhere. I did. I sure <laughs> did. So if you guys need anything, you know where to find me. If you have any questions, let me know. I will announce the winner tomorrow. And I am going to upload this video to YouTube today so that they can also get the coupon code early. And if you're in the AQS group, I will see you at 4 p.m. 3 central time for another Facebook Live where I will talk about I have no idea what, but something <laughs> I can always find something to talk about. Is that it? I think that's it. Call it a day. I think we're good. All right. Barb and Merlina going back to orders. Yeah. Be nice to each other. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Have a good one, guys.